What's up everyone? Welcome to my review of the 2018 Kawasaki H2 SX. This is the SE version. I've had the H2 for about two weeks now. I have all of uh, about 300 miles on it. A little bit about this, uh, about this purchase. Uh, I bought it here in the San Francisco Bay Area from East Bay Motorsports. They, um, they took in my Ducati Multistrada. I had a 2013 Ducati Multistrada GT. So we traded it in and um, <laughs> I, I bought this one without test riding it, without... I, I sat on it. They had a floor model and so I got to sat on, sit on it. Um, but I didn't get to test ride it. So the first, the first ride of it was <laughs> after I slammed all the money down for it. So, yeah, it was a, it's a bit of a gamble, I suppose, but hey, it's, it's worked out quite nicely and I'm, I'm quite happy about it. All right, so one thing I will say about uh, this bike in urban settings, uh, the clutch is heavy. And so you get a little, uh, left hand gets a little tired after <laughs> a few minutes of traffic. Um, and the first gear is very, very tall, so uh, you have to rev it quite a bit to, to get going. Riding characteristics. This is, um, this is a heavy bike, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's about as heavy as my Multistrada was, um, but it does not feel, it feels lighter. It feels lighter in when you're rolling it around by foot. Um, it feels lighter in the turns. Um, the only time it feels heavy, obviously, is when you're going up a hill, and it just then you can feel. That's the only time you can really feel that weight. All right, here we go. <laughs> So as a sport tourer, this bike is quite amazing. Uh, the amount of power is just intoxicating. And the power band, the power delivery on this thing is just so smooth. It is so very, so much, excuse me, it is so smooth. It is so linear. Um, I, I've ridden a an Energica Ego, which is an electric sport bike. And I rode it up the same road that we're going right now. And that's the only other motorcycle that I've ridden with such a clean and consistent power band. This thing from 2000 RPM all the way up pulls almost exactly the same amount of torque throughout. It is, it is just, it is just a beautiful power curve. It's not obtuse. It's all controlled in this lovely little package that looks fantastic, sounds pretty fantastic. It might be a little quiet, but that's, there's an Akrapovic exhaust that you can put on this thing, which I probably will do. Um, just mostly for splitting. For, you know, California, here in California, we, we can split, and the only way to get <laughs> the attention of some of the motors is to rev the engine, and this thing is just too damn quiet, nobody can hear it. But the, just the sounds, it's, you hear the, the supercharger, you hear the dog ring transmission, you know, it's, it, it, uh, just whining away, it is such a great soundtrack, such a great soundtrack. The handling on this thing is fantastic. It feels extremely well planted. Um, the throttle response, it's a bit twitchy. That's not exactly a bad thing. Um, it's... Definitely does what you ask it to do. The brakes, here, here's, I only have a couple complaints with this bike, and it's one of them is the brakes. The brakes are a bit mushy. When you're on a bike that goes this fast, this quickly, you want some reassurances. You want some, you want to feel like there's 
ample braking power to calm this heavy beast down. And you don't really get that feedback. You, you, it's, it's like squeezing an orange, not an apple. So, that's, that's one complaint. The other complaint, the seat. This thing has a crowned seat that just after an hour, two hours of riding, it gets a little uncomfortable. You kind of want to stand up and give you know give the good old prostate a break. Um, but that's me being very nitpicky. On a, I have such a hard time calling this thing a, a sport tourer. It is so sporty, but it is also comfortable. The seating position is fantastic. God, some of the sounds this thing makes is just so much fun. All the chirps and twerps and well, I don't know what to call them. Fantastic soundtrack. Oh, so let me talk about the, uh, this has the cornering light, which I've seen in use a few times now and uh, it's pretty cool. It actually helps, it's not a gimmick. Um, when you're coming in on those hot turns in the middle of the night, it actually lights up the path for you, and it's freaking fantastic. It's a little lower than I'd like it to be. I wish you could adjust it just a wee bit, um, and that should be able to be done in software because it's, it's a set point in the software on when they come on. And it's three different levels of light, so as you increase your lane, they, they turn on. Um, I wish they would turn on uh, just a hair sooner. Just a wee bit sooner. And that chittering you hear, that's the, that's basically the wastegate of the supercharger. It's spinning faster than the, than the air <laughs> they can push into the engine. So it uh, makes this lovely chittering and squeak, uh, chirping noise quite fantastic. Also, the quick shift on this thing is quite amazing. Um, upshifting is amazingly quick and smooth. Downshifting, not so much. It kind of it doesn't pop it. It doesn't re it doesn't register the downshift soon enough, and so you get a bit of a of a pop, which is a little uncomfortable. Um, but the upshifting, oh, it's so fast. It is so bloody fast. It's amazing. And the, uh, just, just the sounds. Like, here, here's, here's a lovely little sound for you. Here's the, I don't know if it's the gearbox or if it's the supercharger. You can hear it just start whining, and then at about, for 3,500, 4,000, it just starts whining away. It's such a great sound. So yeah, the cruise control on here is fantastic. It um, works it works just fine, as a cruise control should, right? You shouldn't have to worry about cruise control. The cool thing about it, they did it right. There's a, to cancel, you, you can either pull in the clutch, pull the brake, press the button, whatever, to turn it off. Or, you can roll the throttle past zero, right? So, past where it returns, you roll it just a little bit past, and it registers that, and it knows to kill the, the cruise control then, too. Really great feature. So I guess there are three complaints. The, the third complaint is the transmission is just a little loose. When you're on and off the throttle, if you're not terribly smooth, which is kind of hard to be when you're doing in canyon carving, um, when you're on and off the throttle, there is a, a gap to where it feels like you have a really loose chain. You, if you're really careful with the throttle, you can mitigate it, but like I said, when you're out, like, getting on the, getting hard on the throttle and off, it, it just, it makes the ride just a little less smooth, and it'll upset your suspension just a wee bit. So, while we're here stuck in traffic, unfortunately. 
it's a Sunday, so <laughs> yeah, no. Traffic, it's a thing. If you're thinking about getting this bike, it's a lot, yes. It's a lot for a Kawasaki. It's a lot for a Kawasaki Sport Tour. But, you won't see many on the road because there's not many out there, which is fantastic. You can tell, you know, the, the paint job is amazing on this thing, especially in the sunlight. Um, it's just a fantastic color. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting this bike, just go for it. If, if, you can, if you can justify it, if you can justify the 22 grand, go for it. Um, it is a fantastic motorcycle. Comfortable, smooth, just a, a, a pleasure to ride. Alright guys, well, thank you for uh, coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this has been informative from an actual owner and not a, uh, not a <laughs> paid advertisement. If you have any questions, feel free to throw comments down below. And uh, thanks again. Ride safe out there, guys.